Republican leaders from New York State Senate and Assembly are claiming that a bill currently in committee in Albany will cause extreme tax hikes for gas and home heating costs. Isabel Garcia with our news partner WENY is breaking down the Climate and Community Investment Act and explains why GOP leaders believe this will add to more loss in jobs for the state. Local and regional stakeholders gathered in Corning on Monday to discuss concerns regarding the Climate and Community Investment Act. It would impose a carbon tax of $55 per ton of fossil fuel emissions on corporate entities in or entering the state. One main concern for GOP leaders, jobs. The worry for us is that, you know, how is this going to affect our business? How is this going to affect our customers? We know it's going to mean increased costs overall. Um, you heard the, all, all the speakers today talk about increased costs, and we think they're going to be quite detrimental. Another major concern addressed included farmland usage. If you look at the amount of land, let's say we took, talk about Indian Point nuclear facility, which was producing 2,000 megawatts of electricity, it was in a smaller compact area, whereas you know, so to get that same generation from a, from a solar or wind, it takes a significant amount of land uses. The CCIA would use the tax fees collected to put back into communities through green jobs. New York Assemblywoman Anna Kellis is reacting to the roundtable discussion. She says this measure is necessary to reach the renewable energy mandates under the 2019 Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act saying, how are we going to stop this? Let's put a fee on the institutions, the corporations that are doing it and put that money back into the system to the people who are experiencing the harm of it the most. Currently, the legislation sits in the Senate Environmental Conservation Committee. For WNY News, I'm Isabel Garcia.